now. If they're scouting for every charm, you have no idea. Oh, <laughs> hello. Thanks so much for stopping by. Well, I'm just here to let you know that we've run into some technical difficulties in the middle of this video, but don't sweat it. I think you're going to enjoy it nonetheless, and I hope you'll stick around till the end. Anyway, enjoy yourself from your favorite Mirage. Have a good one. Uh, can I just have a refill on the apple juice? Hey, Transformers friends and family. Here we are again with a very special episode of Transformers Trivia. This is the YouTuber face-off. I'm so glad you guys tuned in. It's about Autobot history. So we're gonna put your knowledge to the test if, if you're in the audience as well, let's see what happens. But today our special contestants on the show are Jason from the YouTube channel Trans Theories and Rodimus Primal from Rodimus Primal. I'm sure you guys know these guys, but if not, there is a link below to their YouTube channels. You gotta check it out, incredible YouTuber channels. So please check them out, give them some love and support. And I would love for you guys, thank you so much for being on the show. I'd love for you guys to introduce yourself, maybe say where you're from and what got you into Transformers way back when. So uh, Jason, we'll start with you. All right, um, I'm in California. Oh, got me into Transformers. I grew up uh, watching the Michael Bay films. That's my generation of Transformers. And ever since I stuck with it, and then, because I had so many plot holes, you know, I dedicated my love for that Transformers series to try to fix it. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. And Rodimus, what about you? What's your what's your background with that? My background with Transformers dates back all the way to the olden days of 1984. <laughs> uh, seeing, you know, Optimus Prime barreling down that, uh, you know, the, the advertisements for the comic books. But then... Uh, I the first cartoon episode that I saw was Countdown to Extinction, which is a Generation One episode, of course. Um, you know, on a Saturday morning, I think it was a Saturday morning, it was a Sunday morning, and uh, then of course, you know, ran into the store, getting picking up Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper, <laughs> being a fan, saw the 1986 movie in in, uh, in theaters, nice. and uh, been a fan ever since. You know, um, you know, from every single different types of Transformer series, you know. Um, that you can imagine. So <laughs> trying to read it, trying to see it all, read it all, play with it all. And, uh, you know, of course, messing around with whatever toy ah. that I got. Like this guy, like this <laughs> guy right over here. Yeah. I love seeing that. I love seeing that. He did some, uh, Rodimus done some cool little mock-ups to him as well. But yeah, thanks for, thanks for the support. I'm. It's really my honor to be with you guys here today. Again, they've got incredible channels. If you haven't seen them, make sure to check them out but we're gonna jump right into it. They know the rules. It's 15 questions, 30 seconds each, one bonus round that's a wager question, and we're gonna see if these two know their Autobot history. So let's jump right into it. We're gonna uh, jump right into question one. So are you guys feeling good? All right. Yeah, sure. Okay, here we go. Question number one, Autobot history. For the Autobot logo, whose face did they use as a basis of the design? Was it A, Optimus Prime? Uh, B, Ironhide, and really quick I'm, uh, for you guys, either write your answers down, have them in your head, but I'll tell you at the end when to say them, that way the other person doesn't uh, know your answer. Whatever works for you. So it's A, Optimus Prime, B, Ironhide, uh, C, Ratchet, or D, Prowl. The clock starts now, they might already have their answer. When you're good to go, Got you guys, you good? Okay. All right, All right, let's stop there. So for Autobot, the Autobot logo, whose face did they use? Let's see, Rodimus, Jason, what'd you guys put for question one? I put D. D? D for Prowl. Yep. D for Prowl. Well, would you guys be surprised if I said the answer is D, Prowl? You're correct. <laughs> They're not. They're not it's surprised. Not, it's not. It's not the last Autobot, right? It's. it's uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, whose face actually is the Autobot logo? Right. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Yep. I know, I, I, I know, because this, yeah. <laughs> Good so, job. Never mind. <laughs> this is going to be, it'll be a tough test because uh, these guys really do know their, their history. So we're going to see, but it's one point on the board for each of them. We're going to jump into question number two and we'll see if we can trick them with something. Here we go. Uh, before Optimus took control of the Autobots, who was the leader prior? A, Alpha Trion, B, Nova Prime, C, Sentinel Prime, or D, the Council? 30 seconds on the clock, and it seems like Jason's ready. We'll wait for Rodimus to write his answer. That is Alpha Trion, Nova Prime, Sentinel Prime, or the Council. For those of you guys at home, jot your answer in the comments, and let's see if you guys get the right answer and uh, know your Autobot history. Okay, 
They look ready. So for Optimus, uh, before Optimus took control of the Autobots, who was the leader prior? Let's see your guys' answer. Technically be, technically would be Sentinel Prime. Yeah. Okay, technically. and they're and correct. That, right. Yeah, and I would say technically, and that is because Alpha because Tr- Sentinel Prime, if you go by the original cartoon history, which was the first time they actually had an origin story uh, for when Optimus became leader, uh, Alpha Trion carried the Matrix, but he wasn't leader of the Autobots uh-huh. at the time, and he held on to it until Orion Pax was destroyed and then rebuilt into Optimus Prime. So beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, you guys, you got it. And I was going to say, you guys are at home or getting a special treat today because you're not just getting the trivia. You're going to get some really cool facts that go along with it. So that's the treat of having these two guys here. Um, OK, so we're at two to two. We're moving into question number three. Uh, I'm sweating, but these guys are not. They're doing good. OK, who was the first uh, bearer of the matrix of leadership? Was it A, Guardian Prime, B, Prime uh, Nova, C, Prima? Or D, Zeta Prime. Clock starts now. This is, who was the first bearer of the Matrix of Leadership? Guardian Prime, Prime Nova, Prima, or Zeta Prime? Let me know when you guys are ready. Okay, Jason's ready. I'm ready. They're ready. Okay, we're stopping the clock there. They don't even need 30 seconds. They're professionals. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Okay, so who was the first bearer of the Matrix of Leadership? What did you guys put? Zeta. It's Prima. We had Zeta Prime and uh, Prima. The correct answer is C. Prima is the correct answer. So we're going to give a point to Rodimus. Jason's right behind with two points. There's still plenty of time to take the lead. And these guys are two smart cookies. Okay, here we go. Question number four. Hopefully it's a good mix of hard and uh, medium, but I guess we'll see. Okay. Okay. In the G1 cartoon, the Transformers race was built by the uh, Quintessons. In the Marvel comic, on the other hand... Quintessons, thank you. In the Marvel comic, on the other hand, it was a different story. Who created the Autobots in the comics? Was it A, Vector Sigma, B, the 13 Primes, C, the Matrix Core, or D, Primus? So this is in the G1 cartoon... Uh, or in the Marvel comic, on the other hand, it was a different story. Who created the Autobots in the comics? Vector Sigma, the 13 Primes, the Matrix, Core, or Primus? Let me know when you guys are good to go. Good? All right, let's hear it. Let's hear it. What'd you guys put for that one? Question four. I'm gonna put, um, I think it was Vector Sigma. Okay, we had a Vector Sigma. Let's see what uh, Rodimus put for this one. We're going by the Marvel comics, it's Primus. And the correct answer is D, Primus. Primus is the correct answer. We're going to bring Rodimus up to four points. Uh, Jason with two points. You guys are doing great. No sweat. And we're moving into question number five. Really quick, I just want to announce the sponsor for this episode. It's a company called Handsome uh, Comics. They have an incredible Instagram and an online uh, comic business. Toys, comics, all sorts of stuff. Check them out. There's a link below. And the winner, the contestant winner for today is going to get a nice little gift uh, package from Handsome Comics. So I'm excited to uh, share that with you guys. But here we go into question number five. In the Marvel Comics, who was the leader of the Autobots when Prime left for Earth? Was it A, Ultra Magnus, uh, B, Emirate uh, Zaron, was it C, Jetfire, or D, Red Alert? Clock starts now but we know they probably don't need it. The Marvel Comics, who was the leader of the Autobots when Prime left for Earth? Was it Ultra Magnus, Emirate Zaron? We had Jetfire or Red Alert. You guys have a guess for it? I do. Okay, okay, we'll stop there. Question number five, what did you guys put for that one? Um, I was thinking, could be wrong because I haven't seen it come, but wasn't it Ultra Magnus? We had a vote, uh, Jason says Ultra Magnus. Let's see what uh, Rodimus has for this one. Emirate Zaron. The correct answer is Emirate Zaron. Emirate Zaron. Ultra Magnus didn't come online until 1986 in the Marvel Comics, specifically for Operation Volcano. You know, I will. I'm going to say this is some of this is uh, definitely some older stuff that I would be struggling with. So, Rodimus, you you know your stuff. Uh, But Jason, at the same time, I feel you right now because some of this is 
tricky. But we're gonna move into question six. Don't forget there is the wager round at the end, so you guys can always make the underdog come back. Uh, but here we go with question number six. Moving right along. In, uh, in Regeneration 1, what was the device that turned all the Autob Autobots into loyal Decepticons? A, a Robo Smasher. B, the Dark Matrix. C, the Gene Key. Or D, the CNA Emitter. Clock is starting now. This is in Regeneration 1. What was the device that turned all the Autobots into loyal Decepticons? A Robo Smasher, Dark Matrix, Gene Key, or the CNA Emitter? For those of you at home, again, enter your answers in the comics. Let's see if you're as smart as these two, these two dudes here. And let me know when you guys are ready. Go we, for it. Okay. Jason, you good? Yeah. Okay, okay. Here we go. Question six. This was, what uh, What device turned all the Autobots into loyal Decepticons? Guys, what did you put for that? Um, I'm just going to go on a guess and say <laughs> the Gene Key. Okay, we had an answer for C, the Gene Key. Rodimus, what did you put for that one? I believe it was the CNA emitter. Okay. The correct answer for number six is C, a gene key, a gene key. Okay. So all that's, right. I'm getting those confused, but go ahead. That's all right. <laughs> all good, all good. Uh, point for Jason. We've got Rodimus at five points, Jason at three, and these two both still have a 50-50 uh, that they can use at any time, but they're probably saving it for a real tricky one. So let's see. Uh, question number seven. Here we go. Which of the Autobot leaders had held the sword of Primus? Was it A, Rodimus Prime? Was it B, Optimus Prime? C, Ultra Magnus? Or D, Star Saber? And it looks like, Jason, did you think you had this one? It's uh, Rodimus, uh, Rodimus Prime, Optimus Prime, Ultra Magnus, or Star Saber. This is for the Autobot leader that held the Sword of Primus. Let me know when you guys are good to go. No rush, you got, well, a little bit of rush. You got 10 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Good? Okay. I'm good. All right, let's see. So what'd you guys put for which Autobot leader had held the Sword of Primus? What'd you guys put? Uh, no, no, go ahead. I'm, I'm just gonna say D, Star Saber. Star he sound, I think we will have like a giant sword if I, my memory's right. Okay, we had an answer for D, Star Saber, and Rodimus, what'd you have for that one? That's Rodimus Prime in the Regeneration 1 comics. And the correct answer, he says with confidence, is Rodimus Prime. Rodimus Prime is the correct answer. Okay, good job, guys. We got a six uh, lead with Rodimus, three with Jason. We're moving into question eight. And um, here we go. These guys uh, are doing great. Okay, when Primus prepared for the day when he could no longer guide his creations, who would awaken to help the Autobots? Was it A, the Omega Sentinel Sentinels? The uh, B, the Neo Knights, C, the Last Autobot, or D, the 13 Primes. The clock starts now. This was uh, when Primus prepared for the day when he would no longer guide his creations. Who would awaken to help the Autobots? Was it the Omega uh, Sentinels, the Neo Knights, the Last Autobot, or the 13 Primes? 15 seconds on the clock. Jason's thinking it looks like Rodimus is ready to go. <laughs> Went, oh, good. good? Okay, they're good to go. All right, you guys, let's see what you put for that. So, um, who would awaken to help the Autobots for question number eight? What did you guys put? You can go. It was the, um, it was the last Autobot. Okay, okay. You put the Omega Sentinels? Okay, the correct answer was the last Autobot. Autobots, that is correct, that is correct. Okay, good job, guys. Good job. All right. Well, we're moving into question nine. Rodimus has uh, got his trivia down for today. He's prepped. He's prepped. Okay, question number nine. Here we go, guys. Still got two 50-50s in play. If you guys at home like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Also, in the links below, you can subscribe to Rodimus Primal and Jason with Trans Theories. Check them out. And if you guys want to be on the show, we hold contestants, uh, fans of uh, Transformers every week. This is a special YouTuber edition, but there's an application link in the about section. So please apply. You don't need to know everything about Transformers, but we would absolutely love to have you. So here we go. Question number nine. In the Marvel comics, when the Autobot warrior Fortress Maximus went to Earth to be fully reconstructed, 
Uh, who did he commit a binary bond to? Was it A, Spike Witwicky? Uh, uh, B, uh, Rodimus, tell me if I'm saying this right, Cerebros? Uh, Cerebros. Cerebros, Cerebros. C, Buster Witwicky, or D, Emissary? Uh, 30 seconds on the clock. This is in the Marvel comics when the Autobot warrior Fortress Maximus went to Earth to be fully reconstructed. Who did he commit a binary bond to? Was it Spike Witwicky, Cerebros, Buster Witwicky, or Emissary? And these guys are thinking. And for those of you at home, jot what you think the answer is in the comics. Uh, comments. Let's see if you guys are right with this. Um, okay, here we go, guys. Let's see what you put. So, who... Did he commit a binary bond to? What'd you guys put? That was Spike Quit Wiggy. I was thinking that too. Okay, okay. We had two for Spike Wick, uh, Spike Quit Wiggy, and that is correct. So two points on the board. Jason's up to four. Rodimus is up to eight points. We're moving into questions. That was after Galen died. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, if you're familiar with the Marvel comics. Okay, nice. Okay, you guys, you're doing great. Ready for question number 10? We're almost two thirds of the way through and we're gonna see what happens. Question number 10, in the 2019 IW, uh, or I'm sorry, IDW comics, what was the building that the new Transformers came out of after their sparks were harvested and new bodies forged? Was it A, the foundry, B, the pyramid, C, the well of sparks, or D, the divine? Clock starts now. This was in the IWD comics. What was the building the Transformers came out of after their sparks were harvested and new bodies forged? Foundry, the pyramid, the well of sparks, or the divine? Okay, it looks like these guys are thinking. Jason's ready. Rodimus is just thinking for a second. And let me know when you're both good to go. Good? Okay. Okay, here we go. Stopping the clock there. Question number 10. Let's see if these guys get this one right. IW or IDW Comics. What was the building the Transformers came out of? Uh, was it the Foundry, the Pyramid, the Well of Sparks, or the Divine? What did you guys put for that? I'm going to take a guess and say the Foundry because it sounds like something that would reconstruct them. Okay, okay. And Rodimus, what would you have for that one? Believe it. I believe that that's it, the Foundry. Okay, okay. Well... The correct answer for question number 10 was actually B, the pyramid, the pyramid. Oh, okay. So that's okay, you guys, good job. Okay, question number 11. These guys are too, they're too proud to use the 50-50. They're going for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, restarting the clock. Here we go with question 11. Uh, one of the oldest leaders of the Autobots was a bot named Primon. Uh, but that was not what he was originally called. What was he originally called? Was it A, Alpha Prime, B, Omega Prime, C, Leader One, or D, Ancient Autobot? This was for the Autobot, the oldest leaders, uh, uh, Priman. He had an original name before Priman. What was it? Alpha Prime, Omega Prime, Leader One, or Ancient Autobots? 20 seconds on the clock. Say that, say that, the, yeah, the yeah. ancient Autobot. The, 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 you're, I don't know. One of the oldest uh, leaders of the Autobots was a bot named uh, Primon, but that was not what he was originally called. Was he originally called Alpha Prime, Omega Prime, Leader One, or Ancient Autobot? This is uh, Primon, uh, P-R-I-M-O-N. Oh, Primon, okay, okay. That's what I was trying to get, okay, gotcha. You guys feel good about it as far as taking a wager? You need another couple seconds? Uh, I think um, I'm just going to go with what I think. Okay, okay. Uh, Jason, what would you have for that one? I want to say Ancient Autobot. Okay. <laughs> we had a uh, guess for Ancient Autobot. Rodimus, what would you put for that one? I believe that that's Ancient Autobot as well. Yeah. Okay, well, sadly, that, that is that the, the answer. That was by the Stumbo cartoon, but go ahead. No, no, you're right. That's the, it's the correct answer. <laughs> Ancient Autobot. All right, good job, guys. Thank you, thank you. So we've got Jason at five points. We have Ron. You're going by the script, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. You're going, you're going, you're going by the, the script of Five Faces. What was It was called Ancient Autobot, and then he eventually took the, they, they eventually used the name Primon to call him that, yeah, I so. See. Okay, 
cool, cool. You you got the. So I was trying to connect the dots there. Go ahead. <laughs> well, you've got the timeline really well down, so that's some some of these kind of like bop in and out, but uh, yeah, that's you guys got it. Good job. Okay, uh, question number twelve. We're moving into it. Before uh, Primus became the planet Cybertron, he created another group of 13 robots to help him. What was the group of 13 called? It looks like they're ready to go. Was it the Covenant, the Gods of Light, the Matrix uh, Protectors, or the Proto-Gods? And if you guys are good, you can go ahead and tell me, but I'll let you think on it. What was the group of 13 called? Was it the Covenant, the Gods of Light, the Matrix Protectors, or the Proto-Gods? We have 15 seconds on the clock. Jason's ready. Rodimus is thinking it through. Those of you at home, let's see if you guys can get this one right. Jot it in the comments. And we're going to stop the clock there. Let's see what these guys came up with. For question 12, this is um, uh, before uh, Primus became Cybertron. What was the group of 13 robots called? What did you guys put for that? You're going by the 13, okay. That's, all right. I I was thinking of the Shokdarag, or Shok, 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 I'm going to misbutcher that name. Oh, it's like right. Shokarak or whatever. Okay. I'm thinking of the Shokarak, oh, oh. Uh, which is the, the Bakan thing. But no, you were talking about the 13 specifically, right? The original right. 13? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, uh, like what were they, what were they called before? Depending upon continuity, I think that they go by the, the Covenant, I believe. Okay. But go ahead. Okay, good. We had two votes for the Covenant, and yeah, because like Covenant of Primus, there was a book on that when they were doing the Align continuity. So that's how I knew that. Oh, right. nice. Okay, good. Well, both of you are correct. It was the Covenant. You know your Autobot history. Good job, and that's two more points on the board. We've got Rodimus up to ten points. Uh, Jason's uh, right behind with uh, six points. We've got a couple questions left, and then we got our wager round. So you guys are doing great. Number thirteen. Here we go. In the Dreamwave comics, what was the name of the council who helped the Autobots against Megatron? Was it A, the High Council, B, the Council of Ancients, C, the Council of uh, Icon, or D, the Council of Elders? We're going to start the clock there. This is in the Dreamwave comics. What was the name of the council who helped the Autobots against Megatron? Was it the High Council, the Council of Ancients, the Council of Iacon or the Council of Elders. 15 seconds on the clock. And are you guys feeling good about it? Need a second? I believe so. Okay. Uh, with five seconds to spare, we're gonna stop it there. So question 13, let's see what you guys put for, uh, who helped the Autobots against Megatron? What'd you guys have? I was going to say the High Council, basing off of an episode of Transformers Prime. If I remember right, when Ratchet was talking to the kids of the show about the history of Optimus and Megatron, there was a point where I'm pretty sure he said that Orion Pax spoke to the High Council, but I could be wrong. Okay, okay. All right, so we've got a vote, uh, vote for the High Council. Rodimus, what do you think for that one? I believe if we're going by, by the Dreamwave comics specifically, I think that they were still called the High Council there. Okay. I believe that they were called the High Council there. So yeah. we, we've got two votes for the High Council. Uh, the correct answer for the the, um, the the Council who helped the Autobots against Megatron was actually the Council of Ancients. The Council of Ancients was the correct answer there. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I remember when Optronics became Optimus Prime because he wasn't Orion Pax in the Dreamwave comics because they wanted to be different. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why. Well, yeah, the Dreamwave comics wanted to be different. And Pat Lee didn't pay his people. <laughs> oh, right, right. But go ahead. <laughs> no, that's great. You know, we were I was talking about this on another episode, but a lot of times they do kind of pick and choose what they want to keep. And I think, Rodimus, you actually just did an episode about that for the Earthrise, they kind of are, you know, they just pick elements from different stuff that they want to plop in there as far as faces. Yep. So it does make trivia a little more difficult when you have to reference what timeline you're picking from, what comic, you know, all that stuff. So, right. But you guys are doing great. Uh, question 14, we've got two questions to go before the wager round. Here we go. In the 2001 Robots in Disguise cartoon, who were the enemies of the Autobots? Was it A, the Viacons? Uh, B, the Predacons, C, the Dark Brotherhood, or D, the Destrons. Clock starts now. This is in the 2001 Robots in Disguise comic, or cartoon, I'm sorry, cartoon. 
Who were the enemies of the Autobots? Was it the Viacons, the Predacons, the Dark Brotherhood, or the Destrons? And uh, we've got 15 seconds. It looks like they might be ready. Okay, let's see what these guys are walking away with. That's Question. A double answer there. Uh oh, is there more than one? 2001 Robots in Disguise cartoon. Who were the enemies? Uh, you know what? Why don't you give me. You give me. Well. <laughs> If we're going by the American cartoon, the answer is the Predacons. Mm -hmm. Okay. If we're going by the Japanese car robots, it's the Destrons or Destrongers. I think that was the was a specific. Actually, you no, know, I think the Destrongers were the uh, what became the Decepticons in uh, or Commandos. If we're going by car robots to robots in disguise, but robots in disguise, it was the Predacons and then the Decepticons. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, we got to vote for the Predacons. And then let's see what, uh, Jason, Jason, what'd you have for that one? Based off the American cartoon, it was the Predacons, and I do remember that. But I did not know it was the Destrons for the, uh, the Japanese. Okay, good little fun fact there. So for the Japanese uh, cartoon, we had the Destrons, but the correct answer for this question uh, regarding the American Robots in Disguise cartoon, these two are both correct. It is B, the Predacons. Good job, you guys. Another point on the board. I think, uh, I think you guys already know this from seeing their channel, but these are two smart cookies, two smart cookies. Okay, so Rodimus is up to 11 points. Uh, Jason has uh, seven. We're moving into the final multiple choice question, 15. What is the collective noun for the word Autobots? Is it A, fleet, B, assembly, C, pack, or D, uh, exaltation? This is the collective noun for the word Autobots. Is it fleet, assembly, pack, or exaltation? And we have 15 seconds on the clock. Okay. These guys are thinking. What about you guys at home? What do you think? What's the answer to this one? Jot it in the comments. See if you're right. Uh, we've got five seconds left. It's the fleet, assembly, pack, or exaltation. And the clock stops now. Let's see what you guys put for that. What was your best guess on the collective noun for Autobots? What do you guys think? A little tricky one for the 15th, maybe, I don't know. I'm just yeah. Did you guys wanna know. use, did Go you ahead. wanna use your 50-50? Because this is the last question to use it or do you feel confident just going for it? It's, well, it's, what is the, could you do again? So the 50-50, I'll give you two options, one of them being the correct option instead of uh, instead of four options if you want to use the 50-50. Uh, I think I, I won't use it. No. I'm okay. just going to take a guess. At the okay. Last one. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, Rodimus, did you want to use the 50-50 or you're good to go? I'm good to go. Okay. Let's see what you guys put. Want to go headshot? Uh. Uh, either one of you guys, Jason Rodimus, whoever, let's start with, I'm, let's start with Jason. What was your guess? I'm going to guess the last one, wasn't it? Exaltation. Exaltation. Okay. We had a guess for D and Rodimus, what'd you think for that one? I believe it's the, I mean, I believe it's a fleet because the, the fleet was the, um, you know, was the ships that, you know, the Autobots went to, 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 you know, in Dark Awakening was a fleet. So. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. The correct answer for the collective noun, collective noun for the word Autobots is actually D, exaltation. Exaltation was the correct collective noun. It's a weird one. Yeah. What if, okay, so that's just a collective noun for it? Yeah, so it's kind of just a trippy up question from, uh, it's more just a Google search on what the collective noun is. So a little bit of a, a little bit of an unfair question, I'd say, but. I never heard of it ever being called that way, but that's a fun fact. So, Jason, you got a point for it, correct guess. <laughs> Rodimus is wondering if it's the actually the correct answer. I mean, it's funny because fleet, I see where you're going with the fleet thing, so I, yeah. It's a, it's a trippy question. But we still have Rodimus in the lead with 11 points. Jason with eight points. We're moving into our bonus uh, bonus question wager round. At this point, I'm gonna ask the contestants to decide how many points they wanna wager before the question is read, and then it'll be a fill in the blank question. So let's see how these two YouTubers do. Uh, Jason, you have eight points again. Rodimus, you have 11. How many points do you each wanna wager? Let's start with 
Rodimus. Let's see how many points you want to wager. And you let's can go with. Oh, go ahead. Let's go, ahead. go with uh, eight points. Eight points. Okay. So Rodimus is going to wager eight. Jason, what are you thinking for how many points? Well, since. I don't know. I don't. I think I'm going to hold all my points. I'm not going to wager any just for the fact that it. I don't think it's going to be a movie question, so I'm going to keep mine just for the benefit of Okay. All right. Okay, good. A little uh, deduction there. Let's see. So we're going to go right into it. So folks at home, this is a written question. Feel free to write it in the comments if you want to try it. But here we go. Rodimus, Jason, for the big kahunes. What was the name uh, of the academy that uh, the elite guard came from? What was the name of the academy uh, that the elite guard came from? This is 30 seconds on the clock. A written answer. What was the name of the academy that the elite guard came from? Was that the? Let's uh, just let ahead. me uh, just let's make sure Jason has his written down, and then, or when you guys both feel ready, just let me know. That way we announce it at the same time. You feel good, Jason? I'm gonna take a guess. I'm not 100 sure. Take a guess. Okay, that's all right. We'll stop the clock there. So. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Rodimus, if you want to tell me what you put. Folks at home, this was what was the name of the academy that the elite guard came from? Rodimus wagered eight points. Jason, zero. Rodimus, what'd you have for that one? Was that the Autobot Elite Guard Academy. Okay. And Jason? I think it just said the elite guard. The elite guard? Know. Okay. The correct answer for the academy that the elite guard came from was... The Autobot Academy, Rodimus, you had the correct answer there. Um, that, uh, I gotta do a little math here. That brings Rodimus up to 19 points. Jason with eight. Rodimus is our high command victor here today. And he's walking away with a nice little gift basket from um, Handsome Comics. It's going to actually be a $50 gift card that you can use on their online site, as well as five issues of Transformers comics from the IDW series of your choice. So hopefully there might be something in there you don't already have, Rodimus, but congratulations. congratulations. Jason, <laughs> thank you so much too for playing. You both did a great, great job. I wanna thank you hugely for the uh, inspiration you've given to me. I can't wait to share this episode with everybody. And uh, for those of you at home, uh, please subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Uh, you can apply to be a, a contestant in the About section and go check out these guys' channels if you have not already. They're incredible channels. Um, and they do some really great stuff. So thank you guys again. Congrats. And uh, till next time, Transformers roll out. Don't have a choice. Cars that turn into robots. It's worthless to me now. If they're scouting for John. You have no idea.